Hello there everybody, Embrix here with another uh, update for my mid-scaled Millennium Falcon. And first of all, I'd like to address this. See all these pieces around? I'm not usually this messy. Like, everything else is usually really neat. If you saw my studio tour, it's not just I didn't just clean for the camera, you know? It's usually that neat. It's just that I'm gonna have to keep on taking in and out these uh, pieces anyway. So why clean them was my thought process because, again, I'm just gonna bring them out. But um. I got some work done on this, and I'm just in love with the Force Awakens Millennium Falcon, which is why um, I keep uh, showing stuff from it, and size comparison, uh, again, it's my favorite Millennium Falcon to date. This uh, kind of rounded plate, this was on the Force Awakens one. The canopy, this was on the Force Awakens one. Um, these sections, these were on the Force Awakens one. So there's the size comparison. The engines, yeah, I did do work on the interior. These were on the Force Awakens one, and a lot uh, more. So yeah, um, just uh, quick things right there. Uh, landing gear, right. Um, I switched out this piece to these smaller pieces. They help the need more, so that is what that looks like. Um, I might be able to use this piece for something. I don't know, just put, took it out, has a print on it. Uh, someone tell me what set that's from. Uh, I got these pieces, I'm going to try to make a kind of computer training droid, uh, maybe a weapons rack, and I did uh, make the bottom uh, gun. After I do the interior and everything else, then I'm going to take everything apart, work on the bottom, and then put everything back together knowing how, and then this is the gun that's going to be on the bottom, bring on one of those plates. So if this is the bottom of the Millennium Falcon, um, it's going to, hmm, how do we fit that there? It's going to fit like this. Uh, before I didn't have these two rounded plates, so it just completely couldn't go like that. It was always leaned forward like that, but I wanted it to do this. So I added those plates and the whole thing does spin around. That's something to be added. Again, colors aren't official. Anyway, I got in a four by eight plate and this fits perfectly. I was originally, if you remember, gonna do one of these wing sections, but this even fits uh, better for the design and that just pops up just like that. Uh, the interior, again, colors are not official, but I have the layout, so the wings, again, aren't official. Nothing here is official, but you can see um, how the whole thing opens up. My only concern right now is, like, um, I'm fine with a bit of gapping because the original had some gapping, but I don't know how I'm going to do this section maybe with a 4x6 plate that connects to this and then something um, similar on this side. Uh, yeah, um, that is another thing that I'm gonna take into concern by the way force awakens millennium falcon i just can't stop talking about it because it's the only reason this was popular uh pos popular possible um and the reason because of that is that was actually like the first millennium falcon um i saw the review for i didn't see the review for the old one at the time and i don't think anyone reviewed it at the time but anyway you see these gaps? I am an OCD person. That would just not work in my mind. But because, like, um, if I was making a rounded shape, I think it would have looked so bad. I would have used a lot of curves, and then I would have just quit. I'd be like, this isn't working. And even if that was the case, if I somehow stumbled upon this design, once I started, once I put in two panels, I'd be like, oh, there's a gap. I'd quit on that, and then the Millennium Falcon would be over. But because I know how it looks on the Force Awakens one, that's really, re that really helped me, and that is how um, I decided to um, do this whole mock, because now I know that the gaps actually work. The reason the gaps are maybe bigger than likely, well, I would take these away, but that was the original design, but um, the wings wouldn't close up unless they overlapped each other. But anyway, um, Let's see, we got the little seating area with the checkers, space checkers. Um, that is going to be replaced with a computer screen, hopefully, and a place to sit. This is going to be like a medic bay chair. Uh, I'm going to have some engine to design with that, and then this exact piece, but printed, like the one from Legan and Dago City in the crab store. Uh, off to that side, we just got a bit of polling, maybe a place for figures to stand. Here, I want a computer screen and a little place to attach this droid. Um, you'll be taking uh, off the stand when you attach it here. But yeah, just a lot of things uh, working right now. Uh, work in progress, sorry, right now. And um, uh, the whole interior, you can't have a figure sitting here. 
and the thing closed. No, so really, once you open it up, that's the only time you can use these areas. Other than that, you can sit figures all along the thing and close it up, but they can't stand and they can't sit on the chairs or lie down on the chairs or anything like that. But yeah, oh yeah, another thing I was kind of thinking about, because just, you know, quick estimation, I thought that weirdly I can usually tell plates immediately, but I thought that this was a four by six, but then I counted it again. And now I'm thinking maybe these wings should be the longest section here that are one by sixes. Maybe they should be one by eights because that is working really well. Hmm. I'll have to think. These are one by 12, so they'd be four shorter than that, like that, that size right there. Huh. I, I will have to think about that. And uh, honestly, I'm fine with um, brick licking the parts or you know, ordering the parts for this moth because this is, um, I don't know, I just really like the way it's coming together. Oh, another thing, before I really got in the nice uh, interior and all these uh, kind of wing flaps, more of them anyway, um, I reworked the whole base uh, using weird colors and all, but uh, to make it more sturdy so I could really build, but then it just didn't work again. So then I went back and I reworked it again using a lot of gray plates. Like that's the only plate to have to be changed on the base. Uh, and on the bottom, sure these uh, two are still ugly, but look at that. I use a lot of those panels. So yeah, and I use um, a lot of these sorts of pieces to, to uh, connect the plates at the bottom better. So yeah, I think that that's definitely working. Oh, and um, this, well, it's connected right here, but it is able to go down and I even tested that. And um, I decided that I'm gonna make three to five of these kind of uh, landing gear equipment. So um, I'm gonna try to get some more pieces on Wednesday. Um, uh, remember my private seller, like he's not really a seller, but he does uh, sell to me figures and pieces and stuff like that. I'm meeting him on Wednesday and then, you know, I can probably uh, get some more pieces into this. But I don't think I can do much more work um, that I can show you on the camera um, on this until after Wednesday because um, uh, before Wednesday though I can do work on this I can make a part list and show him what I need and then he can try to hook me up or something. But um, yeah, after um, I get those parts on Wednesday I can put them in on Thursday maybe do a video Thursday or Friday so expect another update then and not before then but yeah. That is it for this video, and I hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.